Hi teachers, it's Laura from Travel and Teach Online FAQ and in today's video I'm doing a quick Minicam tutorial to show you how you can link your phone to Minicam so you can share apps and things with your students. I'm so excited about this, I found so many cool apps and games and things that I want to share with my students over the last year but when you hold it up to the camera like it doesn't always focus so well there can be glare from my lights and it isn't the best so I've been meaning to figure out this out for a while I only figured it out on Friday I haven't tried it with my students yet but I have been practicing on Minicam and I want to share it with you guys as well what I will do is I will leave a link to my blog down below which will have all of the cool apps that I found and I've used in the past you know just showing my students like this while wow, my phone looks super dirty yeah can you see the glare from the lights it's not ideal um so yeah super simple the first thing you need to do is go to Google, search for Lonely Screen and download the Lonely Screen uh, program. Then you need to install it. It does say you can pay for it but you can select the free trial and I've had this program on my computer for a long time, I've just never used it and they've never asked me to pay so I think the free trial is, is suitable for our needs. Um, yeah, so Lonely Screen, download, install and then you should get, let me make my cam smaller, um, you should be able to double click and you'll get something like this. So you can change the name of it here, I'll change it to Laura's, not a PC is it, it's a laptop, Laura's laptop, um, here you go, it'll say do you want to subscribe, you can click maybe later, as in maybe never. Um, and the next thing you need to do is connect the lonely screen to your phone. Again, this is super simple. All you need to do is swipe up on your iPhone. I have an iPhone 8. Um, I'm not sure if it's different for different phones, but for mine on the latest update, it has like a little button saying screen mirroring. Um, if you can't find this, then just look for this little logo. Click screen mirroring and then choose your computer. And then, as you can see, whatever's on my phone is now mirrored on the um, lonely screen, which is super cool. So, the next thing to do is link this to Minicam. And again, this is way easier than I thought it was. I'm not sure why it's taken me so long to give this a go. All you need to do for this is choose a video or source, a, a screen you want to use. Right click, go to desktop, app window, and choose lonely screen and now anything that's on your phone will also be on Minicam. So let me show you one of my favorite awards. As you can see I have a ton of different apps that I want to use with my students so I'm super excited. Like I said I'll leave a link to my blog where I share some of these below but I'll use my favourite one today and that's the Surprise Egg app. Um, so they have a girls version and a boys version um, but I used to give my students the option of both. I've not had many girls want to use, no, I've not had many boys want to use the girls version but some of the girls do like to like look at the superheroes and bikes and stuff. So what I do is I get my student to choose um, a diff whatever egg they want and then we eat it together and out pops a toy I think this is such a cool app <laughs> so as you can see it's still pretty small on the screen so what you can do is you can use Minicam to zoom in a little to show them the toy a bit better and um, there are also apps where you can do it horizontally rather than vertically again so you can see it better um, but yeah I just I'm so excited to try this out and let me go big again there are so many cool things that I want to do and yeah hopefully this will work quite well in the class so yeah that's everything I hope you found this video useful let me know if you use it and what apps you like to use have a great day and I'll see you next time goodbye